Well, firstly, at 4.30 p.m., Gurmeet Singh Ram Rahim, the rapist, uh, who, uh, who uh, is, uh, is, has, was, was taken to Chandi Mandir, the army cantonment over there, that's the, the headquarters of the Western Command of the Army, that is in Panchkula. He was put on uh, a helicopter and he was flown out of the area. He was taken, I believe, or sent to, to Rotak. I believe he's, it, it's in Rotak that he's going to be sentenced uh, in a couple of days from now. This is after he was convicted of rape earlier on this afternoon. Uh, over and above that, six columns of the army, that's between 75 and 100 soldiers a column, let's say the upper number is 100, they've been deployed in the Panchkula area and uh, they've also been forward deployed, I should say, I should say forward staged in the Sirsa area. Why is Sirsa important? Sirsa is the headquarters of the Dera Sacha Soda. However, they've not been deployed in that particular area. Should the uh, government require more soldiers? That is an area of Punjab where there are tens of thousands of, uh, of soldiers uh, of the Indian Army who can be flooded into that area. However, the army is not a force uh, that is used typically to control mob situations and riots like this. They are not trained for that. They are very much the last line of defense. They do not roam around uh, with, with sticks and shields in their hands. They roam around uh, with assault rifles. So the army can be called in to fire if the situation warrants, but that is absolutely the last stage and obviously no one wants to even think about that situation arriving. Right, uh, let's, let's go across uh, to Nikhil Pandey who is joining us for more on this. Nikhil, uh, what's happening there? It seems that uh, given the fact like Vishnu is reporting that uh, Gurmeet Singh Ram Rahim was flown out around 4.30 and, and soon afterwards his supporters have also started leaving. Is that what is is that your sense as well? Well, at least that seems to be the case. Uh, you know, at the moment we have actually returned to the scene, that particular epicenter of violence where our Ubi van, among other vehicles, has been torched. The smoke is still billowing out. In front of me, I can see, I can count, in fact, at least five motorcycles that are completely torched, at least five cars that are totally charged, turned circle, cops are sitting around. But there are no data cravies here at the moment. Everybody has been removed from here. The cops are not giving us any indication of where they've been shaken, whether they've been rounded up in those special jails that were created in Chandigarh and Panchkula, uh, whether, uh, uh, you know, where they've been taken. We do know from our sources, uh, you know, in Punjab, in several districts of Punjab, particularly in the Malwa region, that there have been incidents of violence there. These include the torching of uh, you know, a tehsil office in a village in Sanjur. These include the burning, uh, you know, the hurling of petrol bombs at a train station in, uh, uh, you know, near Bhatinda. Uh, you know, these include, uh, you know, incidents in which uh, petrol bombs were thrown at several locations in, uh, you know, the Malwa region. And our sources are, in fact, confirming that a curfew has also been imposed uh, in uh, Bhatinda, Mansa, uh, Muktar and Fazilka district. So put this in perspective, the data such as saw that Chief Gurmeet Singh Ramdhatim has a large following not just in Haryana but also in Punjab, particularly that Malwa belt, the districts that I was naming. Uh, Bhatinda also has a smaller of the data such as Soda. And so uh, obviously this is something that is, uh, you know, going to assume much uh, larger uh, consequences, much larger proportions, of course, the damage that's done uh, and uh, the, uh, the, the death that has taken place uh, in this. Those are still being accounted for formally, but reporting from the site of that violence, I mean, it's very, very evident that, uh, uh, you know, the situation just went out of hand. The cop security deployment in the area was really unable to uh, take on the droves of these supporters who were hurling uh, stones, they were pelting stones, they attacked and picketed, uh, you know, buildings all around. And uh, as we say, the, you know, as we said that the reports of violence are now coming from outside, uh, uh, you know, Panchkula as well, from other parts of Punjab, even as Punjab and Haryana chief ministers both have appealed for peace in the matter.